Hello guys and welcome back to our Star Wars video from me and in today's video as I promised to you guys in my last top 10 video um, I was going to do a top 10 3.75 inch Star Wars figures, Star Wars action figures and I have over 900 or a thousand Star Wars figures, the smaller one, the smaller scale 3.75 inch so it was a very tough task to make this list now a few criteria here i tried not to put on too many darth vaders too many luke's too many han solos too many clones something like that i tried to pick something out of every category that means i picked something vintage i picked something concept ish i picked something each character is different um i picked something from original trilogy prequel trilogy everything is different so that's how, what i want to let you guys know uh before i start this video uh like i said very tough task and the figures that you can see right in front of you are my three runner-up figures aka the honorable mentions now starting from left to right we do have rune haku or haku and newt gunray two naimodian figures that i absolutely love um, I absolutely love them when, I mean, I had Nude Gunray since 1999, but I never loved that figure. But ever since I got Rune Hako a little while ago, the duo on its own, just, I love both of them together. So, I had to pick them as an honorable mention. Then I picked Ahsoka from the Clone Wars in her Season 3 outfit as a runner-up. Runner uh, because I lo love this figure, I do have a carded one with a signature from Ashley I signed as well uh, however I did not pick her uh, in the actual top 10 list and then to go a little bit old school have a power of the force 2 Luke Bespin figure one of my favorite if not my favorite power of the force 2 figure it has a little bit more articulation the Bespin out outfit has always been one of my favorite outfits for Luke as a character so I had to pick this one uh, as a runner-up. Runner so, gonna clear the table like I did with my top 10 Black Series figures. I'm gonna start off with number 10, so see you in just a sec. Okay guys, we're back, cleared the table here, and we're gonna start off with number 10 here. Right in front of me, that going to be Clone Commander Wolf from the Black Series lineup. Now, this is my number 10 my 10th favorite 3.75 inch figure. This is my favorite interpretation of Wolf Wolf uh, from the Clone Wars anime TV show. They made uh, two or three other figures, I do believe, but this is my favorite one. I love this desert gear look. Uh, I love all the details on this guy. The articulation might not be the best. I mean, it has great articulation, but it does have uh, gummy joints. Those Black Series 3.75 inch figures are not the best out there. Um, you know, for the best 3.75 inch figures, you kind of have to go to Vintage Collection and whatnot. But uh, this is an awesome figure. I love the detailing on it. The paint is not 100% correct, but this is definitely a figure that I uh, look uh, at very frequently actually if I uh, move past my shelf if I uh, then I basically look at this guy very very often I absolutely love this guy uh, and recently did a video on some of the last clone trooper figures that they made in the uh, black series line so number 10 clone commander wolf in snow gear outfit gonna put him there number nine a concept figure and this is gonna be Luke Starkiller I believe this is called. This is based on the original Ralph McQuarrie concept art uh, that he drew for Luke Skywalker's battle with Darth Vader. Uh, this was concept art for New Hope, uh, for the, you know the main hero fighting the main bad guy. And this is an awesome figure. They made this figure in the 30th anniversary collection. I absolutely love this figure. The look of it is just astonishing. It basically jumps right off of that Ralph McQuarrie painting. Or um, I love it. And you know he has a backpack too. Here you can see a backpack. You get the breathing mask. You get a lightsaber already. This is the early stage of. Uh, a lightsaber or the concept stage actually of a lightsaber comes with a blaster absolutely love it and 
like I said, this is not about the 10 best 3.75 inch figures, thus I am also including figures that have less articulation or less superior articulation. So this guy, for example, does have the swivel elbow system, which is not a, a very good system at that, but I still love lo the look of this guy. Um, my favorite concept figure, without a doubt, and I had to put this guy in the list. So this is number nine, the Ralph McQuarrie concept art Luke Starkiller figure. I do believe this is Luke Starkiller, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. So got this guy at number nine. Number seven is uh, a figure that actually only represents one certain scene, and that is Emperor Palpatine from the Empire Strikes Back. Now, this is the scene that was filmed in the original Empire Strikes Back film. This was, uh, was this a woman who did Emperor Palpatine back then? I think it was. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. But it was obviously a different actor or actress than Ian McDermott. They uh, later replaced Ian McDermott's face with uh, the hologram, you know, the hologram scene. That's basically what we're talking about here, uh, where Darth Vader kneels in front of the hologram of Emperor Palpatine. And this is a figure that came out in the Legacy Collection. I think I got this one from a YouTuber um, years ago, but it's a figure that never hit store shelves here. But it's an awesome figure, and it's my favorite Emperor Palpatine figure. I love the makeup, uh, I mean the head sculpt on this one. It's very different than all the other Palpatine figures because all the other ones are based on the Ian McDermott sculpt. This is the only figure that has been produced of that uh, scene in Empire Strikes Back that they basically redid later on. Um, other than that, the figure is just really good with some nice soft ropes and the hood is a sculpted plastic piece, piece wow, <laughs> which is really good. Also comes with a cane, of course, but I love this figure so much. Like I said, favorite Emperor Palpatine figure. It is from the deleted scene now. I mean, a recut scene. Uh, and yeah, this is my number eight figure, number eight on my list. So number eight, we have Emperor Palpatine. Going on to number seven. Yeah, number seven. Number seven is the 300 Star Wars figure. And that was released uh, in general, but I do believe this came out in the Power of the Jedi lineup. This is a Boba Fett, the 300 Star Wars figure, aka Boba Fett. This is my favorite Boba Fett figure. I was debating between two Boba Fett figures, this one or the vintage original trilogy collection. I do have some Vintage Collection ones, and I like them, but I don't like them as much as this one. The only issue that people will have with this one is that it is a pre-post figure. Um, it is in just one pose. There is articulation, but you can't really get them in uh, different poses. Um, because of the swivel joints and whatnot. This is a, an old, old figure, and like I said, it's not about the great quality here. In my video, it is about my personal preference towards a figure or character. So, got Boba Fett here. Um, another one I was debating was the movie Heroes Boba Fett as well, but uh, since not a lot of people know that, that movie Heroes Boba Fett figure and don't have that, because that's a, a European exclusive kind of figure, it came out in like Germany or a different uh, Czech Republic, something like that. But this figure is definitely wild, wildly available, wildly, yeah, worldwide available. Uh, I love the paint scheme on it. Uh, this was the first Boba Fett that had a cloth rope piece as well attached to it. Uh, some real nice details on this figure. Removable backpack as well. Comes with his signature blaster and comes with a smaller blaster as well. So really, really cool. And this has to be my favorite Boba Fett figure. It is pre-posed, but it's a really cool pose at that. So number seven is the 300 Star Wars figure, Boba Fett. Number... Going on to number six is Luke Skywalker, but which one we do have? Luke Skywalker in his Endor outfit. Now, you guys may be wondering why did I choose this one? See, there are a lot of Luke Skywalker figures released over the years, and I love almost all of them, but this is my favorite one because this features not one outfit of the movie. Not two outfits of Return of Jedi, but it does feature three different outfits of Return of Jedi in one single figure. 
this Luke Skywalker Endor uh, disguise figure came out in a Saga Legends or Le Legacy Collection battle pack in 2009, the one with the white and red packaging. This came packaged together with an Ewok and a glider, and I think there was an Imperial officer uh, with that pack as well. Now, what I mean with three different outfits is, first of all, in the front you can see the Endor outfit, the Endor disguise with the poncho, the belt, the hat, everything attached to this figure. That's outfit number one. If you were to remove the outfit, the poncho that is, and the helmet, you do have the Jabba's palace outfit because underneath this robe he does have another robe cloth robe that is that features the overlay uh, on his uh, outfit that basically represents the Jabba palace scene so you do have that as well that is two outfits already and that cloth piece is also removable and then you do have the Death Star 2 dual version the one where he uh, fights Darth Vader at the end of Return of Jedi. So that's three different figures in one. And this also has a, an, an advantage over the Saga Collection 2006 Luke Skywalker Endor figure. That figure was also like a two-in-one kind of figure, but that one had swivel elbows. This version, however, does have the ball-hinged elbows. So it is fantastic. It's all around a fantastic figure. And it is probably my very favorite Luke Skywalker figure. I just love this guy. And like I said, the three outfits and one is something that you just don't get anymore nowadays. Um, and it's a great figure all around. I really like the head sculpt as well. Details are nice. The accessories are good. You know, you, you do have the blaster poncho, the belt, the lightsaber. Everything is perfect on this figure. I do think this is the best Luke Skywalker 3.75 inch finger ever made. So, there you go. This is number uh, 5, 6, uh, I don't know. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Yeah, <laughs> I lost count. Anyways, uh, we're going on to number five here, and we're choosing, we've chosen, we've chosen another clone trooper. This is the Legacy Collection slash Vintage Collection Clone Commander Cody. And uh, as you guys saw in my top 10 Black Series figures, I also picked Commander Cody in that video. But. Um, they also made a great representation of him in the 3.75 inch line and this is this legacy collection version comes with a really cool holographic uh, display piece of Emperor Palpatine basically saying execute order 66 of course like in the movie you do have the big blaster also came with uh, a few smaller blasters I think also has a removable backpack removable um, uh, helmet the details are just stunning on this figure, as you guys can see, absolutely love this figure. Um, and this is probably my favorite Cody figure in the 3.75 inch line. Again, they made a few and there are some variations on each vig uh, version, but this is by far my favorite one, so I had to choose this one. So, I mean, there's not a lot of explain explanation here, I just love the look of this guy, I like Cody as a character, I love the accessories, so easily had to be my number 5 pick on my top 10 favorite list. Going on to number 4, number 4 is a split decision I have here. Two figures, but uh, the reason why I picked both is I could not choose either of them. This is both the Vintage Collection Wicked and the Vintage Kenner 1983 Wicked figure. Absolutely love both of these figures. These are so beautiful. I really, really like them. And I really could not decide which one to pick. I think they're both very, very cute. Uh... I really like them. They're both very, very cute. I love the head sculpts on them. Um, the fur is very nicely done. And like I said, I just could not choose between them. I love Wicked as a character. I really think he's like funny and cute and whatnot. And I like the Ewoks in general, but I had to put an Ewok on this list because I, I really like Ewoks. And I, if I had to choose one Ewok, I obviously had to choose Wicked. And I just couldn't decide which one. So number four is both the original Kenner 1983 version and the Vintage Collection uh, 2012 version of Wicked. So I'm gonna put these in the back. There you go. 
Number three, and this is this is going to be special. Number three, I picked the vintage original trilogy collection Han Solo. This is the best 3.75 inch Han Solo figure released. That is from New Hope we're speaking of. This is a great figure with great articulation. Comes with a signature blaster. I do like the look on this guy's face a lot as well. Um, this is the best Han Solo head sculpt I think on a 3.75 inch figure. So uh, Han Solo again one of my favorite characters and I don't think they ever topped this figure in any of the recent lines. They did a few more later on but it was never in his New Hope outfit. And since I love the New Hope outfit the most, I obviously had to go for that one. And then obviously I had to go with the Saga Collection or the Vintage Original Trilogy Collection version because it has the best articulation, best head sculpt. And just all around a great, great, great figure. So this is my number three Han Solo. Han Solo. There you go. This is looking pretty good, right? Number two. Number two is... Dart Vader, but not just any Dart Vader. This is the battle damage Dart Vader figure. A lot of people would choose like a vintage collection Dart Vader figure, figure because those are not uh, bad figures at all. Those are pretty good. But I specifically chose to put an expanded universe figure on this list. So Luke uh, in the back there was a concept figure. This is an expanded universe figure because this guy appeared only in you know this sort of outfit in the Force Unleashed video game and uh, paperback comics comic book as well. Um, I love this Darth Vader. This is a figure that I had been on the hunt for for years and I fi finally came across one and I had to buy this one easily, easily. One of my favorite Star Wars figures of all time where you're talking about 3.75 inch or 6 inch figures. They are amazing. This guy is amazing. I love that he can take, uh, take off some armor bits. You can put them back on. I love how the cape looks. They're, uh, they have the holes in it and just tattered and whatnot. It is a battle damaged look to this Darth Vader, Battle Damage Darth Vader, that's also the name of this figure. Um, there's so much nice details on this guy and to prove it even more that I absolutely love the look of this guy for uh, the character that is, I even bought the bust from Gentle Giant, the Force Unleashed Battle Damage Darth Vader bust from Gentle Giant. Just because I love this sculpt as well, I mean I love the, the look of it and the sculpt on the Gentle Giant bust looks amazing as well. So obviously have this guy and to prove it even more I do have a carded version of this Darth Vader figure I absolutely love that there you go putting that here and now for my number one figure again this is a very biased list this is not the best Star Wars action figure ever but this is my favorite one because I also have some great memories attached to it but We'll get to that. We have number one, Clone Wars 2009 Cat Bane figure. The reason why I picked this guy is, like I said, I have a lot of great memories attached to this figure. This is a figure that I uh, actively went out hunting for when I was even a lot younger. I mean, this was um, eight, nine years ago. So, again, I was very small. I was like 12 or 13 years, 13 years old or something like that. So, definitely went out looking for this guy, absolutely wanted this guy after seeing him in the Clone Wars TV show, and then finally found him, and I, I made a video on the entire story of this figure, why I love this guy so much, so if you guys check out my channel, uh, look up Cat Bane, you will find that video, I'm not gonna explain the entire story once again here, but yeah, I love this figure, I love the character, this is my favorite Clone Wars character, together with Ahsoka, but if I have to pick one of them, I love Cat Bane more than Ahsoka. Uh, also, the voice, ah man, the voice is just perfect, I absolutely love it, the, the accessories are great, love the look of the character, like a cowboy in a, a space universe, which I, re which I really like, uh, if you just look at this image here, just absolutely love it. So number one is Cad Bane from the Clone Wars 2009 era, and as you guys can see, this is number 10 to 1 all in one video and uh 
there you go guys this was my top 10 favorite star wars 3.75 inch figures um i hope you guys enjoyed and this is obviously is somewhat of a response video to my top 10 black series six inch figures if you guys want to see more top 10 lists from me or anything like a best of kind of list be sure to comment in the comment section below and maybe i'm gonna do that then so but for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will be back with some more videos very soon so until then keep collecting and may the force be with you bye